You're gonna, you have to put in the work. You're not gonna get the house built, you're gonna build it yourself. So you want a good house? Welcome to our channel at We Are Compo. If you have not yet subscribed, please remember to do. It helps more than you know. Today I'm just hanging out with my Kuya El Yazar. That's my big brother and his lovely wife, Ate Gladys. And we're going to be talking about marriage. So much wisdom to learn from them. 17 years, almost 18 years in marriage. So, of course, every marriage is different but there are some lessons that could help you and help me. Even those who are not yet married, planning to get married, thinking about marriage, something for you and me here, so. build the house yourself. You want a good house, you want yeah. a, a big house, a house you can build into one story, two story, three story house, then you have to, to put in the work. If you're just planning to put, to build like a, a what they call it, a cottage or a, a hut, then, then you can do a flimsy work. But if you want a good marriage, what, what kind of marriage do you want? You put in the work. It's, it's work. It's a lot of work. But then like in anything else, the best things in life, are the things that you really work hard for. So marriage will be one of the best things or for some people the best things that will happen in your life but it's also going to be the hardest thing that you will ever do. So you know, you want you want a tall house, build the foundation right. Learn how to, it's not just putting in the work, it's also learning the principle. Like you know, for builders, you know, engineers building a house, there's a principle in building a house. So you know, also 
girls have to learn the principle. Eh? There is no, there is no substitute to hard work. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna sweat it. You're gonna, you're really gonna, you're gonna struggle. You're gonna put in the work. And again, it's gonna be the hardest things. Uh, one of the hardest things you're gonna do in your, or the hardest thing you're gonna do in your life. But it's also, you know, the most rewarding thing. So you know, they're kind of, uh, kind of. Uh, Equal. So yeah, that's. I think that that analogy helps someone approach a marriage. Like you're not gonna get your dream of marriage. You're not gonna get your dream husband or wife. You're gonna work for it. You're gonna build it. Okay. After you build, then you're gonna have something that will, you know, will be worth uh, being proud of. And there's something that you can be, you know, you can be uh, satisfied and happy. That really speaks to me a lot. Uh, you know, it, it might feel like this is simple things, but uh, now that we're in, we're in it, yeah, we're in it. And hearing that is it, almost like revelatory, like knowing. It, you might think it's simple, but it, now hearing that it, it's very important. It really gives me some tools to approach my marriage right, right. because uh, number one that you said that it takes work right so but if coming from that mindset yeah. it will be different uh -huh. because if i i have that expectation in mind that, that work is needed then you're more ready to settle for the long term like you're not gonna i'm not gonna easily give up right well, when there, there's when sense in your hardship yes there's sense <laughs> there's, there's, there's a purpose, reason there's a purpose exactly. for the hardship it's or the, not just marriage is hard yeah but the reason the marriage is hard is because you're right, building, you're building something yeah. that's that's a great uh, viewpoint you know, the, and i think the second and uh, whole topic in itself is the foundation so what are those right. foundations exactly. because exactly. you know when it, when i got into the marriage yes there were good beginnings there were good reasons which i can consider foundation but now that you have a solid structure of a house in mind right so can you speak to like what are the foundations of marriage is it love is it love? what is it <laughs> Well, like I said, though, it's, hard to, it's hard to say what the secret of marriage is because, again, different folks, different strokes. Okay, for one so couple, it's different. It's different. So, yeah, and, and that's a very, it's a very almost inexhaustible subject. It's a very wide okay. and broad subject. So, yeah, uh, of course, number one, uh, you know, for us, you know, for you know, followers of Christ, if the center, if the focus of your marriage is Christ, uh, then then, then that takes away the focus from you know from yourself you know makes you less selfish self, right? self, yeah, self -centered. Self -centered, right so it's not about your needs it's you know you're, you're both pursuing uh, you know something beyond yourself so definitely that's definitely the, the most important part of it after that of course there's there's, there's a lot <laughs> uh, it's, 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 it's okay maybe to, two or three or one or two well, of course, uh, you've already for, said it's for different. Me, uh, it goes back again to the analogy of building a house. And like, like in life, uh, I, I don't know how it was put, but somebody said that half the battle is expectation. Right? So if you're expect, expecting it to be easy, then you encounter a lot of hardships and struggles. It becomes many times harder than it's supposed to be. Right, but but when you're ready, for example, uh, all right, uh, okay. You, you are in, uh, I heard a story in New York City. Okay. When 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 drivers are hit by other drivers, most of them simply go away, <laughs> drive away. They don't even bother making a deal out of it. Why? Because they expect it to happen. Okay. It's something that is normal. Or for example, in, in Scotland. If it rains in Scotland, no one gets angry. Okay. Because it always rains there. 
uh, people are already expecting it. Okay. So you see that the expectation is a big factor. Oh. So if you come into marriage with a lot of unrealistic expectation, with you know the things that you've, you've seen in, 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 in culture, in media, in, in movies, so the things that you know that that eventually it affects you, your mind, your, your expectation, your mindset going to the into, into marriage. It plays a huge role. So if you have that uh, that are, uh, romanticism, you know, coming to marriage, that that already uh, gives you a lot of uh, disadvantage if, uh, for for lack of a better word. So if you're coming to marriage with a lot of unrealistic uh, expectations, so that will be your first struggle. Okay. Yeah. And then eventually, of course, you will wake up to the reality what marriage is really about. And when when that happens, then you're in a better place because now you have a more realistic. <laughs> the moment you. Yeah. The moment you wake up. The moment you realize that the expectations yeah. were. Okay. Right. So so I think yeah that's that's personally for me if someone would ask me what would help in a marriage uh, that's what I would say because uh, and then then again someone said whoever you marry you're gonna marry the wrong person <laughs> because you yourself is the wrong person okay. uh, and and uh, you know it takes uh, it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of process before you finally eventually become the right person so so whoever you marry uh, there's gonna be you know the three stages of love falling in love falling out of love and then eventually ultimately choosing to love so eventually I mean ultimately you're gonna fall out of love because uh, you know the things that you thought were um, are actually not so yeah, after that, there's uh, there's just uh, inexhaustible uh, <laughs> principles of uh, in marriage. Okay, course, uh, every, everybody has their own experience and every you know, advices. Wow. Thank you so much for that. Uh, it, it, it puts it puts the battles, it puts the the hardship in perspective, and uh, it gives it another meaning. Not just you know oh, suffering, but it's it's the work to put in to build that thing. I've been asking uh, my Ate Gladys and Kriya Lizar. They've been uh, 18 years in marriage to write a book, uh, but they say you know every marriage is different. So definitely a lot that I have learned for them from them and our marriage. So much wisdom. It's good to hear those who have traveled that road and are still together, happily married. <laughs> Not all the time. Yeah, I know. Who's I, happily that, married all the time. That one I know. That's why. That's why these things are important. Yeah, that yeah. Uh, you know, it's in perspective. That even though the challenges are there, you don't give up. You're still there. That's why I asked you a while ago. What? What uh, makes you decide? When you're in that fight, when you're in that hardship, whether to to leave, to walk away, or to, now I have an you gave me an answer, which is knowing that this is work, this is the thing. And I, I think it's also good for for people who are you know young couples and those who are coming to marriage. They see the ugly side, the bad side of marriage. Yeah, it helps. Actually, looking at a perfect marriage sometimes is not very helpful because then you have an unrealistic picture or or uh, expectation or uh, you know. So you know, it's good for us to show our human side, our vulnerable side, our you know, uh, because you know every 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 marriage has the. Uh, what uh, anyway the rough side every every marriage no exception so yeah, it's, it's good when people see that once in a while so that they know that that's normal it's not that's not uh, unusual it's part of marriage all right thank you so much